Taking it back home now. I'm holding on. Oh, yes, I am. I'm holding on
God bless you all and welcome to Second Chapter's live virtual concert. We thank God for all of you that have joined in with us tonight and we are going to have a good time. I want you to sit back, I want you to relax and get ready to have a good time in the Lord. Let me introduce to you, anoint by him. Come on.
church with me, mother? You want to church with me, my man? I feel like I'm in some church, huh? There was a man in the Bible go by the name of Joe. And Joe lost everything that he had. But my man, what I like about that Bible verse right there, his old wife told him to cuss God and die. And he looked out and said, you sound like a foolish woman. Think I'm a custom man that made the dead man rise. Think that I'm a mecca man that made the dead man rise. I feel good right now, y'all. My man, my baby used to have seizures. I took my baby to the hospital like a month ago. My baby ain't had a seizure going on 14 days now. Ain't God good. Ain't God good. I feel like I'm in church. Can we have a little church? We finna have some church. And I'ma dedicate this song to my baby. Everybody got me on. Oh, wow. 
Break it down. Break it down for me. I'm waiting on G. I'm waiting on G. I'm waiting on G. Mama got sick. Real sick. I thought my mama had coronavirus. Took mama to the emergency room. They ran tests all on my mama. They told me mama just sick with pneumonia all in the lungs. And the doctor told me there's nothing they can do about it. I look through the hills of oh, what's coming off. Oh, my hell, it come from. you enjoy them? Out there on Facebook land, we want to know that you enjoyed the show and we want y'all, if you're looking on social media, we want y'all to share this, this great gospel event that we're having tonight. You know, ain't nothing like that good old gospel music, am I right? And we have to um, train and have to bring up the new era of gospel groups. You know, you know, it's, it's lot coming along and some of our old groups they are you know fading away and there's a new generation of gospel groups that's going to keep us going how many here like quartet music out there y'all like that good old quartet music i do too so we must support each other and now let's give the anointed by him another round of applause yes yes First, I'd like to give honor. My name is Richard DeRay. They call me the gospel man. I've been doing it for a long time and ain't got tired yet. But anyway, I'm thank, thank God to be here at 93rd Street Community Baptist Church where Dr. Carl Johnson is the leader and pastor of this great church. Let's give him a round of applause. It's not too many churches, well, let's say some of church support gospel quartet singing like the 93rd Street um, Community Baptist Church. We done had a lot of good programs here down through the years, and we can continue. Uh, this goes to show you this pandemic in the last year and a half has struck in the gospel field and all over, but still yet, Pastor Carl Johnson let them come in tonight and have this great Virgil concert. Let's give Pastor Carl Johnson another hand. We're going um, we are getting ready for a group that's been in South Florida area over 26 years. Now I've been I've been in South Florida for mm, about since 1987. How many years is that? <laughs> that's about 30, going on 34 years, right? And out of 34 years, I've been knowing this young group. I met them at a place called Studio 183 back in Miami. One night, every Thursday night, we used to have um, uh, what's uh, gospel night there. And I seen this group, and they were singing a song, No Matter How High. I did, right? Help me out now. <laughs> you know I'm getting home. <laughs> and um, I was listening to all the group. I said, that group got something there. And we've been friends for a long time. I have seen this group grown down through the years. Uh, they have been on many, many shows with big artists such as McLeod's, Keynotes, Camptons, William Brothers, you name it, Kirk Franklin, Shirley, they've been on all the shows. And these brothers here not only sing gospel, they live by the gospel. Amen? We have a lot of groups that sing and that's to be singing, but not living the life. This group here... Uh, the reason why I love 93rd Street Community Baptist Church so much, this group is very, very, very disciplined. I mean, they support this church and they are working in this church. Am I right? And you can, can't find too many groups that do that these days. And I'm telling you, all the young groups that are coming up, if you don't have a home church,
please get one and be active in the home church. And they will help you. And um, this group here, I love them. <laughs> he called me the other night. He said, Brother Rick, would you bring us on? I said, you know, I can't hardly talk, but I'll definitely try to bring you on. <laughs> but anyway, we let's get ready. Now, the ones that are looking at it on social media out there, on, on Facebook, please share this program. Share it on your page. Tell somebody to share it with them. We want this to be one of the biggest things that happen. Now, you know, when you talk about South Florida, there's only a few groups you can talk about. I'll be all over. And when I mention South Florida, the first group, they say now, it used to be back in the day, some other groups. But we're talking about this era now. It's this group that I'm getting ready to bring in. They are known all over, not just in South Florida, not just in Georgia, not just in North Carolina, South Carolina, but they're known all over. And it's a great privilege to bring them on. I think they're about ready in one minute. And we're going to have another good time. They're going to bring that train in there. You know, you can't stop a train. <laughs> when the train get rolling, get ready to roll, it's rolling. So we're going to have a nice time. This is the first time that I ever known in South Florida, but a, a quartet group that be doing a Virgil uh, gospel show on Facebook. Let's give them a big hand for that. All right. Well, this group here, like I say, been singing a long time. And uh, every time they come on, man, it, it's happened. I want everybody... And even out there on Facebook, if you're there listening at me, I want you to even clap your hand. Group I'm about to bring to you need no introduction. They're South Florida number one quartet group. Let's give it up for a second chapter of Miami, Florida. Come on.
there and with all of you out there in Facebook land on social media. Uh, we hope you're enjoying yourselves so far. Wherever you are, I want you to put some hearts on the screens for our little brothers anointed by him. Amen. Give God praise for anointed by him. And thank God to my friend, Brother Ricky DeRay, for coming up and bringing us on like nobody else can. So we hope you will enjoy uh, the rest of this service tonight. Now listen, those of you that are out there, I want you to look at the screen and look at these shirts. Look at how we dress. And if, if you like them, you put some hearts on the screen. Now listen, if you like these shirts, the way we dressed, I picked them. If you don't like them, blame that guy back there in the back, Javaris Cross. <laughs> Amen. Let me give honor to our pastor, Reverend Dr. Carl Johnson and the 93rd Street Community Baptist Church just for allowing us uh, to come to these consecrated walls tonight uh, to give God honor, glory, and praise uh, through the ministry of song. We're going to move on and sing one of those old country songs. Can we go back to your old country song? Come on, Mr. Levy. All right. We're going back to the country now. I'm going back up to the Cane Hills of Georgia and Alabama. Listen.
want to go back to the way they used to have church a long time ago. At least I want to take them back to the little old town in Georgia that they call Wake Forest. Where my grandmama and my granddad is from. And you know, they didn't have no air conditioning thing. Leo, they used to do what they call heisting the window. And when they would heist that window, D'Angelo, you could, you could hear the saints praising God a half a mile down the road. And sometimes we would get in that church on Sunday morning, and an old deacon would be standing in front of the church, getting ready to raise an old hymn. Nate, you'd hear him cry, and he would start off saying some words. I guess he would start off by saying, he raised a hymn right he was saying If we can stay in the country a little while, y'all come on and ride this train with us. Come on. Sunday, but they had it on the first and on the third. 
even if you're out there. Reach and stick your hands towards the screens and say to yourself that God is good. God has given you so much. God has blessed you over and over again. And because of everything that God has given to you, you want to give it all to the Lord. Listen, if you please. So many times in my life, somebody can say this, I've had to suffer so much pain and strife, how many of y'all can say that? what it is. You gave me strength and you made me strong. You gave me the courage to carry on. I give it all. I give it all to the Lord tonight. Oh yes I do. I got a reason to give everything I have to the Lord tonight. I, I give it all. I give it all to you, Lord. Let me say this. So many, many, many times in this whole life of mine, fellas, so
ahead and testify. Listen. From a mighty long way When I was living in a world of sin You reached down here You had mercy on me Threw your arms around me And you took me I got a right to give it to you, Lord Because when you sent your son out to Calvary And he hung his head in the locks of his shoulder Why didn't he begin to die from the next hour? From the sixth to the ninth hour, surely he was doing it for me. And I want to give it all to you, Lord, because you've been so good. I don't have a lot of money, but I'll give you my time. I'll give you my, I'll give you my talent, Lord. Whatever I have, I'll give it all to you. Lord, you've given so much to me, and I just want to say thank you for it. I give you this voice. I give you these hands. I give you all that I have. I don't have a lot of money, but I'll say this: silver and gold. Silver and gold. Have I none? Have I none? Such as I have. Such as I have. I give it all. Wish I had a witness. A silver. silver. Have I not? Have I not? Such as I have. I I give it all. I give up to me. Silver and gold. gold. Have I not? Have I none? But such as I have. I give it all. I give up to me. Such as I have. Such as I have. Such as I have. Such as I have, I give it up. I give you my heart. I give you my mind. I give you my time. I give it all. If you want me to sing, Lord, I'll sing. If you want me to preach. turned their back on me, walked away from me. Lord, you were true to your word. You, 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 you promised to never leave me nor forsake me. 
and, 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 and every time I think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out. Hallelujah. You know, it gets a little rough sometimes. After 31 years on the journey, sometimes we, we feel like giving up and throwing in the towel. But if there's anybody out there tonight that feel like you can't make it, feel like you got nowhere to turn, I dare you tonight to just hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. I feel like having a little bit more church. So I want you to put your hands together when I sing a little bit of this song and say what? I'm holding on, Lord, yes I am.
somebody lift your hands and give God some praise. How many of you tonight know that if you hold on and trust Jesus, he'll make a way from you. If there's anybody you ever held alone and God brought you through, you ought to stretch your hands out toward the screen and say, yes, he will. Yes, he will. If you know God is good yes, sir. and he's worthy to be praying, you know what I want you to do? Hey, you want to Come on. Everybody in the building. Just lift those hands. Just lift those hands. Everybody in the building, come on and lift those hands. I said, good God Almighty, there you are. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Just a little bit high. Just a little bit high. Just hold on just a little while longer, and I guarantee you God will bring you through. Keep your hands in God's hands. God will bring you through. He'll see you through. For all of your ups and your downs and your crazy turnarounds, just continue to hold on to God's unchanging hands, and he will make a way out of no way. 31 years we've been on the journey. We've had our ups, we've had our downs, but through it all, the Lord has been good to us. How many of you out there in social media land can say that the Lord has been good to you? We're going to leave you. Try not to say that too long. I'm gonna tell you why. Tears well up in my eyes. It's because of your mercy that I'm still alive. Alive. How many of y'all can say that? Listen. Sister Angela Harris. Over the mountains, yeah. Clear. And through the valley, yeah. You never fail to see about me. Yeah. Let me tell you something. 
there's somebody out there that can say the same thing tonight. He's been good to you. Look, I know God's been good to me. Rodney, God has been true to his word. He promised to never leave me nor forsake me. In the midst of my trial, when people were trying to do all kind of mean things to me, Hanks. He was true to his word when he promised me in Isaiah 54 and 17. When he promised me, he said, no weapon formed against you will prosper. And Miss Carol, every tongue that rise up against me in judgment, the angel only told me, thou shalt condemn. And he's been true to his word, Tony. God is a vindicator. When people have lied on me and said all kind of mean things about me. And the thing about it, Sister Macwell, a lot of people wonder why I didn't say nothing. A lot of people wonder why I didn't tell my part of the story, Mr. Frazier. But the reason why I didn't say nothing because God told me he said to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. And 
what they wanted to hear me say. God fixed it so they didn't have to hear me say it, but God fixed it so they could see it, that God's hand was on me. And I just want to tell them, oh, thank you for being so good to me. I get happy about it, Daniel. Can I get happy about it? I know what I've done. I know how I've done it. And I know that God not only could have taken his hands off of me, Nate, but he probably should have took his hands off me. Because I know what I've done. I know how I've done it. And I know who I've done it with. And I realize tonight, Tony, that if it had not been for the goodness of Jesus, if it had not been for the love that was on my side, I wouldn't be here tonight. I wouldn't be here tonight. Ow! I'm gonna leave all alone when I say this. I'm gonna leave all alone when I say this. Somebody can see you're here tonight because God healed your body, and right now 